WDSU first warning weather right now behind me. We're kind of in some clouds, low clouds starting to move in. No impacts, no alerts right now, but that was much different this morning. Around 11 o'clock, we had some storms roll in. You know, yesterday at 4, meteorologist Jim Sign came on and said, you know, we're the only station in town with Doppler radar. We'll be inspecting these storms. And he showed you the difference between where radars were located in the region between ours. And you know what? At about 11 this morning, we had a loss of meteorological data across the region. We were the only radar that was showing you live what was happening with this particular storm. At 11-11 was the first warned storm outside of Berg. And then you see Raceland right here, the first tornado warned storm. Des Almond's Bayou Buff storms that moved their your direction as well and eventually of course these worked themselves out and they faded away before anything was actually seen in a tornado or any damage which was great news but good thing that WDSU first warning weather Doppler radar was up and running for you today real-time radar still finding a couple of light showers and sprinkles Poplarville career Picayune Bogalusa Bush might be some sprinkles to just drizzle coming down from Kentwood to Hammond and that's the last of the rain effectively the front coming through and how do you break and bust a drought. You do it like what we've done the last two days. Over two and a half inches of rain. That's just east of Career, and that's going to be on I-59 on the east side of it. Slidell over two inches of rain. However, at the airport officially, we only got about a half an inch, but still a good soaking rain was good for us. Real-time temperature 70s. The dew point's still way up. This is really good warmth and high humidity for the time of the year. There's a little bit of fog being formed and some of it is a little bit behind the front. So when we actually get it to come late tonight, some fog could be there too, but that should start to clear as we work through the late night hours and early morning hours. There's the front that's through, less humid, much cooler air that's dropping in. And it's just a question of how cold you're going to get for some of the mornings to arrive. So let's see what we've got for those low temperatures tomorrow morning. We'll be as crisp as 59 to Bogalusa, Amit, Hammond will be at about 64 to Belt Chase. Tons of sunshine tomorrow, and it's going to look beautiful. It's going to feel great. From 60s, we rise up 73, 74, 75. A little bit of a north breeze, 10 to 20. Gusts shouldn't be much higher, but that drops in even colder air. As chilly as 42 to Bogalusa to Franklinton, even state line going into Friday morning. We're at 55 even here in the city. Some around Homa and Thibodeau could be flirting with 50 to 49 degrees. Plenty of sun then Friday. Top temperatures only 71, 72, 73, and of course all that humidity is down as well. Extend the forecast out, warmer weather, a little higher humidity as we head into next week. Now, this could be the influence of what we're tracking to be our next name system. That'd be Sarah. It interacts with the front, and that's our next chance of rain. But I'm going to go into that tropical forecast right now, which is just technically a potential tropical cyclone. So this is expected to be at least a tropical storm status, be named Sarah. The reason they call it a PTC, potential tropical cyclone, because it is expected to make landfall. This is Central America, though. Honduras, not good. Spinning around for a couple of days could drop upwards of 30 inches of rain. The end of the forecast takes it to the Yucatan, but I've looked at more forecast data that show this could be taken into the Gulf, and this looks impressive. By the data that I just showed, maybe with our rain chances, that could bring it here, but look how weak it's going to be. And other forecast data even take it farther east and more and to be a problem for Florida. So the takeaway is it could bring in the rain chances, could have an influence to it, but not directly impacting us in no landfall. Next couple of days, WDSU first warning weather seven day. It's the cooler, drier air and fall weather's return. Still staying a beautiful weekend too.